Ronald Reagan is single-handedly responsible for the Jerry Curl. The Afro is dead and standing in line to point its finger with the rest of his accusers. He annihilated black pride like Nicaraguan civilians in the 70s. Everyone wore an afro proudly, including white people, fist picks and crowns, catching the sun and waving like, I'm gonna make you love me. Black is beautiful. Beautiful, curvy, skinny, freckled, and free, and standing coolly in your own natural skin. And honey, natural was in like bell bottoms and hoops, sequins and jumpsuits, and move in any way that moved you until the 80s. I'm guessing it started around 82. Too young to remember, but old enough to do the math. And from what I can count, we got lost in the mix, caught up in the curl process. And if you listen closely, you can hear our self esteem breaking like split ends, shattering like the front windows of the Black Panther Party office in Oakland with the brick signed FBI. CIA and of course then Governor Ronald Reagan they won that war with drugs and want to talk about a war on drugs our chemically induced defeat trickling down neck slow and warm like activator listen closely and you will hear it in the hissing of hot combs stay down listen closely when they tell you that you are not beautiful that you were never beautiful that you must become beautiful that they will sell you everything you need to be beautiful they will stretch and snip your skin for you they will bleach you over the counter they will teach you to bite off your own lips and they will sell them back to you listen closely when they tell you that all of your features are beautiful Beautiful, but only when featured on anyone but you. I remember when wearing fake hair would get you clowned at school or wearing too short skirts or low-cut shirts or anything that fit tightly enough to show off a perceived lack of value. We were responsible for each other, to each other. We had sense enough to wear our low self-opinions on the inside, but deeper still we know that our souls have never needed product to glow, that beautiful is a big enough word to belong to us all, like love. We can share it, pass it around like biscuits at Sunday dinner, make sure everybody gets some, take seconds if you need to. We can always make more. Beauty is infinite. More beauty is being born from a belly laugh as we speak. A fresh perm is being sweated out on a dance floor. A couple is kissing for the first time. A girl is smiling at herself in the mirror after picking it out. And no government policy, no amount of defeat, no television commercial could ever truly compete with how fly she feels right now. So Mr. Reagan and 1980s, wherever your spirits may be, Please stay there. My song does not summon your return, simply a melody, a remedy to reclaim the beauty we inherently own. Thank you, thank you. All right. Thank you, thank you. So, I'm gonna kick one more piece. I'm gonna keep it moving. Um, this is a love poem. Look, I know it's hard, and no, I've never been a black man, but don't tell me I don't understand. It's hard. I know you're harder. Pressure made you that way. Only diamonds can come through centuries of melee, and you can cut through anything. And no, ain't easy, but why would you want it to be? I've been carving out a path in front of you, fighting off the demons behind you, digging in the trenches next to you, beneath you, and above you, mind you. Ain't just because I love you, not some romantic ambition, not some charitable cause, not some idealistic vision. Me without you is flawed. I demand you, I require you, I'll be damned if I let them acquire you. And you ain't got no excuses, you're not the only one going through this. I'm standing knee deep in the same mess, and we both know I'm not some damsel in distress. I carry the same weapons as you. I sharpshoot to do situations for you when you're wary from the attack. I carry you on my back, not everybody has that, so don't tell me I don't understand how hard it is for a black man. I gotta stand here and watch them take you away. I gotta stand here and live to fight another day. I gotta stand here. I got our baby to raise. This feels like slave days with you out there on that block. Well, I'm begging you to stop. I know you have your pride, but there's no time, so I'll speak candidly. Those shackles and bars are designed for whole families, so no. You ain't gotta tell me it's hard. You and me got matching scars. How you think I made it this far? Surely not without incident. My courage and strength did not manifest on accident. And yes, I know you're worn and you're weathered, but our sentences are tethered. You take me with you when you go. Unless I drag you real slow, pulling one leg after the other. It's one small triumph after another. And yes, it's tiring. This most beautiful surviving. We press hard back to back to face the world fighting. If only we could embrace 
sleep together and wake up safe. We could write each other love poetry, all kisses and whispers and fantasy. Maybe then you believe we could walk on water and eclipse the sun. Our love could be the envy of everyone. It should be already. I dig you out of your grave every single day day and when my knees get weak you'll do the same and we'll be soldiers not their martyrs and hard times will be harder I'll be woman you'll be man and we'll survive the way we planned in typhoon frenzies and hurricane fits we'll take on the world with rotating fists they don't make love any better than this so get up I'm not done with you yet Lazarus